The British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell, daughter of the late and disgraced media mogul Robert Maxwell, has tonight been found guilty of having helped her lover, the financier Jeffrey Epstein, sexually abuse teenage girls. A jury in New York found the 60-year-old Maxwell guilty of another four charges connected with procuring the victims and facilitating the abuse. She has been in jail since her arrest last year and now faces the rest of her life behind bars. Epstein, a convicted sex offender, was found dead in August 2019 in a Manhattan prison while awaiting trial. Well, let's go live now to our correspondent, Aleem McBoom, who's outside the court in New York for us. Aleem. Yes, Rita, tonight marks the final fall from grace uh, for Ghislaine Maxwell because a jury in the courthouse behind me has decided that she wasn't just a bystander to the crimes, uh, the sexual offences uh, committed by Jeffrey Epstein. They decided that she was herself a predator, an active participant in the sexual abuse of teenagers, and they did that by finding her guilty on five counts, the most serious of which was for sex trafficking. Ghislaine Maxwell will now finally pay for her terrible crimes. Her victims were robbed of justice for decades, but four of them have helped put a now infamous sexual predator behind bars. Each was from a troubled or cash-strapped home, and the court heard how Ghislaine Maxwell gained their trust. During their explicit and emotional testimony, they told the jury how she instructed them to get the late Jeffrey Epstein massages that turned sexual. All but one, Annie Farmer, testified anonymously using a pseudonym or just their first name. Jane said Maxwell participated in her sexual encounters with Epstein. I was terrified and felt gross and ashamed. When you're 14, you have no idea what's going on, she said. Kate said after sexual contact with Epstein, Maxwell asked her if she had fun, saying she was such a good girl and one of his favourites. Carolyn said Maxwell told her she had a great body for Epstein and his friends before touching her breasts. And Annie Farmer, the only victim who publicly identified herself, said Ghislaine Maxwell gave her an unsolicited massage and rubbed her breasts. She said, I so badly wanted to get off the table and have the massage be done. Legal experts said the defence's attack on the women's memories and motives didn't help Ghislaine Maxwell overcome the compelling evidence. She had the disadvantage of having to try to explain away this parade of young girls who were coming in and out of the home daily. And she claimed she knew none of that, that it never happened. And that's very, very difficult for the jurors to credit. And when the jurors concluded that Ghislaine Maxwell was a liar, they concluded that she was a predator. Police raids of Epstein's homes showed the duo's jet-setting, luxurious lifestyle. In this photo, the pair are seen relaxing at the Queen's Balmoral residence when Prince Andrew reportedly invited the couple to the estate. The staggering wealth on display from opulent properties in Florida, New York, New Mexico and even Epstein's own private island, nicknamed Little St. Jeff, only highlighted how they used their power together over the years to lure intimidate and silence everyone around them. House rules, including this manual, told staff to be deaf, dumb and blind, forbidding them from making eye contact with Epstein. I think this guilty verdict is immensely meaningful to sexual abuse victims everywhere, that no matter who you are, no matter what kinds of circles you traveled in, no matter how much money you have, no matter how many years have passed since the sexual abuse Justice is still possible. Ghislaine Maxwell will be sentenced at a later date and she still faces a second trial for perjury, a charge which she denies.